Hey, welcome to another update. Uh, today we will be uh, hooking up the Raspberry Pi. So, power, signal, uh, we've got a USB charger, that uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converter that I've ripped apart and we're just going to sort of mount this up. Um, power to the monitor, um, but first I've got a little voltmeter that we're going to mount up. Right. I'm going to turn it on and we'll just check test if this is still. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 keep it on, keep it on. To see, you can actually see the voltage yeah. is nowhere near as high as I thought it would be, which kind of sucks because, see, it, it, it's actually under 12. You good? Let's test this out. Um, you you place that and touch it to that. The screw or the... This is whatever, it doesn't matter, the body it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see if it works. Sweet. And it's oh, the, so that's the same as that. That's right, it's it's the voltage of the battery. So let's test it. You, you test it out. Sweet. Okay, so that's the first buds done. Oh, I thought it was going to drop down to like 10 volts or something. Well, that, that's that's pretty uh, pretty incredible that it's actually. Okay, well, this is much better than I thought. I thought it was going to drop tons because, yeah. So maybe it might actually be okay enough for the monitor to to, to run. So let's yeah. let's hook it up and see what happens. This is the adapter, the original 14 volt adapter that we had. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop that there, use the same plug, and hopefully that 11 point whatever volts or maybe hopefully 12 once we charge the battery will be enough to power that. So we're just going to run it across here through the fuse box, we'll have a separate fuse for it, and um, fingers crossed it'll work. Should I cut this cable? Yeah, 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 chop it off, yeah. Actually, um... test to see if that 11 point whatever volts will actually make that run or if it's going to be a bit fail. Uh. Okay, so we've decided that we are going to temporarily run the screen of the mains until we get a 12 to 14 volt inverter sucks that we have to do it but it doesn't matter the main thing is the power's not dead um, the next bit is we're going to hook up the raspberry pi and this bit that i've ripped out of a cigarette lighter adapter 
There you go, Luca. Sweet. So that's our negative terminal. Oh, you need to lift up. Nice. So in the center. Yep. Nice. Now should I cover it? Yep. So this is currently running, the actual screen is running on a power adapter because uh, the battery doesn't seem to be enough to run the 14 volts required for this. It's not quite 14, but I thought it could be close enough. It's not. So, but the Raspberry Pi is just behind this panel. It's wired up off a cigarette lighter adapter that I've chopped up and just soldered it up onto that. Um, we haven't actually tested it, so this is going to be the very first time we are going to run the Pi of the adapter into this. And yeah, all right, right, flick it on. Okay, so just get, leave, don't turn it off. Give it a moment. Hey, the Pi's good enough. That's a good sign. Right. Give it a moment. Of this dude's tutorial, this Aussie guy, mm -hmm. took like 10 minutes. I, I, I put aside like an entire half a day just to get through it. So I don't even know. Oh, yeah? Dude. It works. Yeah, that's it. What? So that, 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 that's it. And now that's. A three minute clip that I've actually I've, okay. I've updated on the um, premiere so I've actually redone it and um, and then it'll just loop up to three minutes so cool. dude so we're actually let's see are there any wires that we left hanging no um, that should clear it I'll see if the interesting thing will be if the Pi will freak out Anything? Hey, Jacob. Hey, good. good. What do you reckon? So we've got the screen going. Yeah. And there we have it. Uh, nearly all powered by the battery, except for the LED panel. Um, for now, anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.